But Tesla, I've come back to the weekly one, and I kind of wanted to take a step back and see where it might be heading for kind of the long-term future um, for Tesla stock. Because we look at the daily, we look at the two-hour chart, what well, I do at least, and the two-hour chart, and we kind of see what happens within the next couple of weeks. But obviously, we've got earnings on Wednesday, and um, yeah, we, it looks like it could be going quite well. Tesla, we've seen a massive kind of run, obviously, recently in the last, what, two months or so, considering this is the weekly. And the thing I'm looking at here is obviously that 265 level, which we bounced off very nicely this week. Um, I couldn't tell you what day of the week it was, but maybe it was Friday, who knows? Um, but yeah, we've got a nice little bottom in the tail, which means the buyers have come in for Tesla. Maybe they're anticipating you know, positive earnings for Tesla. Um, but yeah, that 265 level is one I'm watching. And then we've got that 20 moving average moving up nicely through the through the 50. And obviously, if we can hold this 265, that will come through really easily. Um, and then maybe you come through that 216 level, 216 level, I need to get some more glasses, I think. Um, yeah, 216 <laughs> level. And um, so then that kind of gives it an extra bit of confidence, which seems to be my favorite word at the moment, which you introduced me to, Nick. Uh, it's a great word. It's yeah, hard it to is. get away from. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the reason I've got 216 there is if you look kind of almost just to the right of the middle of the chart, um, we're looking at kind of May of last year, um, we can see lots of kind of movement around that area, especially as acting as support. And these are the weekly candles. So on a daily, on the two hour, they'd be touching those zones even more, right. um, in my opinion, anyway. But on, you know, looking forward for the stock, I did mention that. So I think we can break 300 plus so that's that psychological level fairly easily, um, especially with um, good, you know, even medium earnings would be, would be okay with that. But good earnings would push straight through 300, I think, because you know how Tesla moves. It moves aggressively, it moves with confidence. Um, and that's what kind of what Tesla does. But really, the ultimate resistance for me is 311. Um, I don't know if you can see that on the chart as well. Uh, kind of September-ish last year, we tested that 311 mark. I probably should have highlighted that, actually, looking back at it. But yeah, that 311. And if we go through there, then, wow, um, we could see 360, 350, in my opinion. Yeah, why not? I mean, it got all the way to 400, in the, you know, not too distant past there. And, uh, yeah, earnings. I mean, it's going to be very interesting if it, that, I, I don't trade Tesla around earnings, but if you do and you get it right, uh, look out. You could do. You can. You can make some good money. I, I do want to see that 265 level hold, but imagine they announce some bad news and things don't go great, um, and it pulls back to 216. That you've got is that support line there, and yeah. still holding the uptrend. It would just kind of make this a choppy, uh, you know, volatile move up, but we'd still be holding higher highs and higher lows and still be getting after it. It might be a good buy opportunity. Yeah, yeah exactly right. That, it's okay. No, I'm saying that also, if, if that happens, that might change the trend also. It's not just that, you know, um, because one bad earning from one of the big ones can mm -hmm. change the outlook of the industry. That's a fair or, point. Or, or the market. And especially a company like a Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, you know, they move the market. That's a good yeah. point. Very that good is point. a good point. They've been moving the market all year, right? The, those big names. But yeah, yeah, it's a, another fun earnings week with Tesla, I guess, Sean. Yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs>